Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel. Uh, be ready everyone with your books and pens or pencils. Open on page 685. We will continue studying area, chapter 9, lesson number 3, area of trapezoids. What are the trapezoids? And how can we find their area? This is the shape of the trapezoid. It has two parallel bases. One of them is short and the other is long. And the height is the perpendicular between the two bases, base 1 and base 2. This is a rule we are going to use. Area equals half height times base 1 plus base 2 sum of bases so in words the area A of a trapezoid is one half the product of the height and the sum of the bases base 1 and base 2 a trapezoid has two bases base 1 and base 2 like this one and the height of a trapezoid is the distance between the bases, this one. Of course, this height can be drawn anywhere between the two bases, here, to the left, or in the middle, or to the right, since it's perpendicular between the two bases. This is a quick example. Here, base 1 is 5, base 2 is 12, and the height is 7. Direct application for the rule, area equals a half height base 1 plus base 2. So half times 7 times 5 plus 12. 5 plus 12 is 17. You can multiply the 7 by the 17, then multiply by half. Or you can multiply by 0 0.5. The answer will be 59.5. Moving on. Now let's try to solve these uh, examples. Find the area of the trapezoid. This is base 1, as you can see. Here is base 2. And here is the height. Now, area for problem A. Area equals half the height times base 1 plus base 2 so this will be a half multiplied by 8 multiplied by base 1 which is 11 plus base 2 14 what is half of 8 half of 8 is 4 what is 11 plus 14 it is 25 4 times 25 will give you 100 this is centimeter so this one will be centimeter squared let's solve problem B we have here base 1 is 2.5 base 2 4.8 and the height is 4 so for problem B, we can say also the same area equals half a height times base 1 plus base 2. This will be half times the height is 4, base 1 is 2.5 plus base 2 which is 4.8 now what is half of 4 is 2 2.5 plus 4.8 will give you 7.3 2 times 7.3 is 14.6 
14.6 watt yes meter squared now let's solve problem c it is a trapezoid this is base one this is base two it will not make a difference if you say this is base one or base two since you are going to add them this is the height 0 0.3 now let's use the rule a equals half height times base 1 plus base 2 this is half multiplied by the height which is 0 0.3 times the sum of bases base 1 0 0.5 plus 1 now half times 0 0.3 0 0.3 is like 0 0.30 you know this 0 0.3 is like 0 0.30 so half of 0 0.30 is yes excellent 0 0.15 1 plus 0 0.5 is 1.5 now if we ignore the decimals it will be like 15 times 15 which is 225 but here decimal after one digit and decimal after two digits so it will be after three digits means 0. 225 feet squared now how can we find the missing height use this rule to find the missing height 2 times area 2 area this over sign means divide divide by what divide by the sum of bases so we multiply the 2 by the area and before we divide we add the two bases after we add the two bases then we can divide let's see how Consider this problem D. We have the area 24, base 1 is 4, base 2 is 12, and we need the height. Very easy. Direct application for the rule. H height equals 2 times the area divided by base 1 plus base 2 means 2 multiplied by 24 divided by the sum of 4 plus 12 so it's like a fraction in the numerator 2 times 24 which is 48 in the denominator 4 plus 12 is like 16 and 48 divided by 16 is yes excellent 3 3 what? 3 centimeter now let's solve this one we have the area 21 and base 1 is 2 base 2 is 5 and we need the height okay so the height equals 2 times area means 2 times 21 divide by the sum of bases 2 plus 5 so 2 times 21 which is 42 2 plus 5 is 7 
this over sign is like division so 42 over 7 means 42 divided by 7 which is 6 6 yards moving on I think by now the guided practice is very easy for everyone to solve. Let's try to solve the first one together. Anyone got the answer? Okay, let's solve it together. Area equals half the height which is 8 multiplied by sum of bases 6 plus 11 half of 8 is 4 6 plus 11 is 17 and 4 times 17 is 68 meter squared Now for this one, area of trapezoid equals half the height which is 8, sum of bases 7 plus 15.6, half of 8 is 4, 7 plus 15.6 is 22.6 now 4 multiplied by 22.6 it will give you 90.4 feet squared problem number 3 A trapezoid has an area, you are given the area, 15 square feet. If the bases are 4, which is base 1, and 6, which is base 2, what is the height? So what rule are we going to use? Yes, excellent. The second rule, the rule of the height, height equals 2 area divided by sum of bases, base 1 plus base 2. So 2 times the area means 2 multiplied by 15 over sum of bases which are 4 and 6. So, in the numerator, 2 times 15 is 30, 4 plus 6 is 10, and you know that 30 over 10 is like division, so it's 3. 3 what? Yes, 3 feet. Now, let's try to solve problem 4. In the National Hockey League, goaltenders can play the puck behind the goal line. This is behind. This is a goal line. They can move behind this goal and then they can score. Goaltenders can play puck behind the goal line only in a trapezoid shape area. As shown at the right, find the area of this trapezoid. So, we need to find the area of this trapezoid. It's clear that this is the height, and this is base 1 and base 2. This is direct, direct problem. Let's try to solve it together. So, the rule. Area equals half 
the height which is 11 times sum of bases which are 18 and 28 so this is like half multiplied by 11 multiplied by 18 plus 28 which is 46 so it's better to find half the 46 not half the 11 so leave the 11 as is what is half of 46 it is 23 now 11 times 23 will give you 253 feet squared as you can see the lesson is very easy just two rules to remember the rule of the area of the trapezoid and how can we find the height by this my dear students we come to the end of our lesson for today don't forget to solve some problems to practice to remember every single detail in the lesson till we meet again goodbye